Hello and welcome inside the banjo. I'm Phil Mason alongside Cole Vivian, episode five of the Cole Vivian Show. Coach, split the split the series with Wilmington. A tough loss on on Friday night, and boy, what a rebound on on Saturday. You guys go up there and and really just dominate and play your game. Yeah, Saturday was was, was disappointing. Our last couple minutes there. Uh, we had a really, really tough time keeping them in front, so went to this, that zone in the second half. And that made a big difference. Uh, I think we were up by six points, like four or five minutes left, and they were able to kind of finish, finish on a run there. We, we had some turnovers and a chance we couldn't get some very good looks. So the team is pretty disappointed by, by that. But Saturday, we were on, on all so there's Jill, uh, got us off to a really good start. Uh, they bought it in the zone really well. And like, that's that's a pretty small small thing that the, the everybody else kind of look into, but like we never really zone. Like like we we play man, you know, almost all the time there. For us to go exclusively zone for you know six quarters in a row there, uh, our team did a really good job buying into it and made it made a huge difference on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, and uh, was that I guess was that really the key to to keeping Wilmington out of the paint? I know you said you know on Friday that that was a major problem, especially in the first half. Uh, keeping them out of the paint was it just that switch to the zone that really did it for you? Yeah, and and they're they're kind of a good team in the zone because they don't shoot it from three as well as some other teams do. I mean, they're they're, they're not batching from from three, but it just kind of got them out of their out of the the stuff that they like to do quite a bit. Uh, but their guards are really good getting the paint, so that helped us a lot. Uh, we gave a lot of rebounds to it on on Friday, so when we came in here Saturday, kind of looked at the film before we got on the bus. Said, hey, this is a chance where I think we can we can get a lot better rebounding, and you know we we did a lot, a lot better job of that on Saturday. That's that's exactly where I was heading. I was going to say, you know, 16 uh, three pointers set a school record, yep. but I I have a good feeling that uh, you're even happier about those 49 rebounds. Yeah, you're yeah, pulled down. Yeah, because we were really bad at it on on a Friday. We were just kind of kind of looking for the ball, reaching for it. Uh, but Saturday, I mean, from the very first possession on on defense, they're getting on the glass, they're finding bodies. Uh, Luce was re really good at that to, to, to get going. Han did a good job, but Camille off the bench. I mean, I think Camille's last five games, she's been great. Like the energy that she's been bringing has been incredible, and, and then like she is a huge key for us because uh, usually if you have those experienced post players, uh, the teams that kind of have those are teams that do a little bit better. And for her, and I was as a starter last year, coming here not starting this year, but I mean she's, I think she's she's definitely one of our five best players. Uh, just with the energy that, that, that she brings, uh, the possessions, the extra possessions that, that, that she gets us. She was really good again, again on, on, on Saturday. Her energy on the bench, is it, it's really tough for anybody to match that. Yeah, she really gets everyone going. Yeah. She gets me going when I'm out there calling the game. <laughs> I, she fires me up, so yeah, and, I understand that. And everybody, and our bench is doing a, a great job. Like This is kind of, kind of a different year with not being able to have our normal, you know, 600, 700, 800, you know, 1,000 people in the stands. So for us, like we got to kind of make our own energy with that. So our, our bench is a little bit bigger bench than most teams in the league, but like, that's kind of like our student section for the game. Like they're down there, they're doing, you know, crazy stuff to kind of, kind of get people fired up. There was one time on Saturday, I think we, we made a three in, a, in the first half and I was kind of walking backwards kind of uh, to, towards, towards the, the uh, women's basket. I almost ran into our players. They're down there doing push-ups or they're on the, sur the surfboard. Uh, so they almost kind of took me out with it. So, so, but, but like that's what makes it really fun. Yeah. Um, and like I'm getting texts after the game it says your bench energy is legendary. Um, talking about how close our team was for the, for that. So that bench is doing an un unbelievable job with that. They really are. Yeah. It's fun to watch. I know that. Um, so moving on, or I guess maybe not moving on. You, you mentioned Camille, uh, Camille, but. Uh, you know, you've had a lot of players step up in this season. We've talked about, you know, losing Brooks, losing uh, Devin, Devin yeah. and just a lot of players have stepped up, a lot of young players. How, how impressed are you just with the resilience of that? So we knew kind of coming to the year, depth was going to be huge for us. We weren't quite as deep last year, um, just with, with kind of where our roster was. But this year, our returners, they all got a heck of a lot better. And, 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 and our, our, our new kids are really talented, too. So... We, you know, we thought Devin and Bailey were going to were going to play, you know, 25 minutes plus a game for us. So now we got to kind of re replace that. We've had, you know, the whole team has really stepped up. I mean, Hans had unbelievable night. Chill, her last four or five games have been really, really good. Gribbs is stepping up big time. Um, Camille off the bench has been great for us. Kate Liston, you know, played one minute our first series against Otterbein, and then the last couple of weeks, 
She's one of the best three-point shooters in, in the nation, and she's leading us a lot of different ways there. Uh, we're moving kids around. I mean, Jill started the year, starting as a wing player for us. Now she's that, that starting point guard. So we're, we're getting a lot of, of good stuff for, for, from everybody uh, with that. But, you know, depth has been, has been huge for us. And um, as, as, as a coach, you never know when you're going to need it. You know you're going to need it at, at some point. Well, for us, some of those kids kind of got thrown in the fire right away with that. Well, credit to you and to this team. Uh, so Mount Union heads down I-77 on Friday, and uh, this is a team they're they're kind of rolling right now after four straight wins. Uh, I think they beat Otterbein, they beat Heidelberg mm -hmm. twice. Uh, should be a great matchup. Yeah, Mount Mount. Whenever whenever we play them, it's always a really tough game. I mean, their coach does an unbelievable job there, um, getting them getting them ready to go. They got really good players. Uh, they have a wing player who is definitely one of the top, you know, three players in the conference. I mean, she's an unbelievable scorer. She plays at a, at a really good good pace. They got a lot of good players around them, too. They started off the year 0-4, but I think that's because they were kind of kind of finding who, who they were, and they were playing some really good teams. Lost to, lost to Baldwin Wallace the, the first weekend. Uh, second weekend, they lost to John Carroll, who's, you know, one of the top, top, you know, top 10, 15 teams in the country. But they lost to them really, really close. So then they were able to get Otterbein, get Heidelberg, uh, but they do a lot of good stuff well. They're, they're kind of like us. They're big into rebounding. Uh, they're, they're, they're the, uh, I think they're plus about five uh, on the glass each game, so that's major. Uh, they shoot threes well. Uh, they, they, they pressure you a full court, and they'll do a lot of different stuff with their defensive pressure too. So uh, whenever, whenever, whenever we play them, we know it's going to be a really tough game, and, and, and this weekend I, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the more same of that. Well, and you, you mentioned, you know, kind of figuring out where where their team is. You guys have figured out where you are. What's what's the key to winning this one? So we got to contain their wing player. Uh, she She's unbelievable. So uh, when, we, when we, we played them up there last year, she had 37 on us, you know, and she got the foul line a lot. Um, so we got to have really good matchups on her. Um, we got to handle handle their their pressure because uh, they're going to bring waves and you know we, we, you can feel good good against them you know being up you know six or four they can go on on a 10 0 run pretty darn quick so we got to be able to handle that pressure we got to be good on the glass and we got to do a good job against against that uh, three point line too so we're making a bunch of threes here but they're making a bunch of threes there too I, th I think I think we lead, lead the conference on three point makes I think they're right behind us uh, about half you know about about less than you know half half won a game so those things that we really got to do offense but we got to keep moving the basketball we're doing a really good job of that right now and with all that pressure we got to make sure that that ball keeps moving against them tip-offs at 7 p.m on friday marietta college and mount union you can check all the action out at pioneers.marietta.edu slash video coach thanks as always thanks phil